Hello everyone, hope you're doing great. When we get up in the morning, we want to have something to eat. We crave for it because we're so hungry, you know. And uh, that's why I thought I should bring you some breakfast ideas, some filling breakfast ideas that are going to keep us, uh, they're making to keep us going for a few hours at least without eating anything. So if you want to keep getting such ideas from me in future as well, Please subscribe. Please click the bell icon so that you become the first one to get notified about any other video that's uploaded on my channel in future. Let's see how we make this filling breakfast brown sugar toasted chapati or as we call it in Urdu roti. Brown sugar toasted roti or shakar chapati or shakar roti. The ingredients that I'm going to use in this chapati are really healthy so no issues with that no health issues they're going to be really healthy for you and uh, they are going to taste delicious yummy 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 so here you can see the ingredients that we need to make this chapati well all of you must know i'm going to use simple wheat flour i already had kneaded that flour and i have made it into two balls simple wheat flour that we use for making chapati everyday chapati that we are going to use here too i have made two simple flour balls out of it i am going to i have spread out then in the next second image you can see i have spread out one um, ball and i have placed it on the board to roll it then i have the rolling pin ready with me the ingredients that we are going to use are simple that one ball of wheat flour kneaded wheat flour then we have brown sugar with us and uh, we have only three two and a half to three tablespoons of brown sugar with us two tablespoons of oil with us and one egg yes that's an egg that's an egg very much an egg it's only that it's egg yolk broke when I uh, opened it up and we have this uh, wheat flour with us in order to you know uh, roll our chapati on the board that's it so we have these simple ingredients ready with us let's see how we make this yummy yummy sweet sweet brown sugar chapati out of them the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to take all these three ingredients that is the egg that we took the two tablespoons of oil and the two two and a half tablespoons of brown sugar you can increase it to three tablespoons as well if you want it to be more sweet it depends how much sweet you want it to be it can be two tablespoons two and a half tablespoons three tablespoons depends upon your choice we have mixed them we are going to mix them we have mixed them here as you can see in the bowl and then we have spread out with the roll help of the rolling pin the uh, flour ball wheat flour ball that we had with us we have spread it out and made it into a chapati or a roti or a loaf whatever you would like to call it so we have it on the board we have spread it out let's see what we're going to do with it next so first of all what we do is we put a sizzling platter or a tawa as we call it in urdu onto the stove it's going to be on medium heat it's better if it's on medium heat and as it gets a bit heated up we are going to shift that uh, chapati or that roti or that loaf that we rolled out with the help of a rolling pin on the board we're going to take that and we're going to put that onto our shift that onto our tawa or sizzling platter or it can be a non-stick big sized frying pan as well so you're going to shift your chapati onto that and when it it's going to become brown a little brown it will show up at it, as it gets heated it will become a little brown as you can see in the first image on the slide and then you at that time you're going to take a spatula and flip it over and when you flip it over in the middle image you can see the shape 
it's going to be in. And in the next image, and what do you see? You see that on that chapati, on that already a bit cooked chapati, the side of the chapati, I have taken one to one and a half a tablespoon of the mixture that we made. I've spread it out onto the chapati. So these are simple steps, but you should know them and you should be able to do them properly um, in order to get a very nice, really nice chapati at the end, toasted chapati. After spreading that mixture onto the chapati, you flip it and what you get is what you have, you were seeing in the first image. On the other side, this is going to, the roti is going to appear this way. So onto this chapati, on this side of the chapati also, you're going to spread again one to one and a half tablespoon of the batter that you have of the mixture that you have and you're going to spread it on the roti and you're going to flip it again and as you flip it again it's cooked on the first side and this is the shape that you're going to get now the newly uh, covered side with the batter has gone down onto the stove or onto the sizzling platter or the tawa or the non-stick pan that you are using so you apply that batter again to the side and flip it over and you get this shape and then you apply the batter here also and flip it over again and you get the uh, shape that you have in the last image here uh, in the second image here and this your roti is cooked now it's going to be co cooked on the underside as well and the upper side as well and two times on each side you have applied that better and uh, with it even if some of the better is left you can apply it for the third time also on one side so with one egg and one chapati you're going to finish off the better so uh, cook it slightly on the other side as well and this is the shape that you're going to get as it is seen in the last the second image and the roti or the chapati the toasted chapati sugar brown sugar toasted chapati is ready with you to eat and enjoy and cherish yummy 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 so the chapati the brown sugar toasted chapati is ready with us and i have uh, put it in a sieve to serve it now and it, it looks very alluring you just want to eat it then and it smells very nice as well so uh, your brown sugar toasted chapati is ready you have not used ghee in it and you have not used um, sugar in it you have used brown sugar that's healthier and you have used oil that's healthier so um, keep those things in mind yes some people might like it more with sugar simple sugar you can make it with simple sugar as well that also tastes very very delicious but that depends then if you are going to have it once uh, in a month that's okay you can make it use it with uh, simple sugar as well and uh, otherwise if you're going to have it more often I would recommend you use brown sugar because that's healthier than simple sugar so this is a very healthy very filling and uh, sweet and nice chapati that you can have for breakfast and it also has an egg in it so you get an egg also and you can take it with coffee you can take it with tea or whatever you like in breakfast you can use whatever oil you like to use and you can manage the sweetness of the chapati uh, with the amount of the brown sugar that you're going to put in or add to it so it all depends upon you but the basic recipe is here with you and you can uh, make it different with your ingredient your way in your own way according to your choice more sugar or less sugar which oil it all depends upon you so take care of yourselves make the roti come give me your comments and do subscribe to get the next recipes for that you have to click the bell icon as well because you will get notified when the next videos are uploaded then. So thank you very much. Take care of yourselves. 
हेल्दी ईटिंग बाय बाय